Hi, I'm Diane. I'm with Diane's Oils with doTERRA essential oils. I've been um, with doTERRA for three and a half years and fell in love within the first month decided I really needed to share these amazing products with other people and that is why I do what I do. Um, today we're talking about Terra Shield and this is a monthly blab I do the first Friday of every month at 7 p.m. Pacific time. I try to get on here and just do a little talk on some specific oil. Essential oils are all natural and they're from plants trees, bark, peels, which plants are an amazing thing, as all of us are. We all have this ability to repair or protect what we need to. All we need is the right components. Those components are in the plants, in the fruit, in the peels, and the bark. That is the natural protection for the plant. That's why we get to use oils. Instead of trying to make something synthetic to mimic what the oils do, why not just use the real stuff? <laughs> I love that. Why I use doTERRA is they've been around, gosh, when I started it was six years. Now I think it's about nine and they were six scientists and physicians who got together and wanted to create a higher standard of oil. So they decided to only get the product where it grows originally so that it can be most potent. And that is why we are a worldwide company. They um, test each batch of oil with a different a private tester runs six different tests on the oils throughout the process of the distilling and extracting of the oil to make sure all the components are there so that some oils have like a lock and key system and if all the components aren't there it won't do what it's supposed to do so they make sure all the components are there and there are no pesticides or components that shouldn't be there if they are, they don't sell them. That's why these oils have such high performance and are so potent, so strong. So be careful with these oils. They are of a medical grade, not medical grade, sorry. They are of a pure therapeutic grade oil. Um, speaking of medical though, these comments, and these, um, these statements, they've not been evaluated by Food and Drug Administration. The product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Therefore, I will not recommend them medically at all. You need to speak to your physician. Okay, that being said, oils, Terra Shield. This is one that I use on my little dog, who is a 13-year-old Yorkie. I use them on her, and they just came out with a spray bottle. So now instead of the oil drops, I can just spray it on her back from her neck to her little bootay, and then just wipe it in. And then with what's left over, I turn her on her back and wipe her tummy and her hind legs especially in the groin area of any pet where the the little pests will try to hide. Um, oils less more often. So instead of doing the dousing of them in the other stuff that you do that will last one, two, three months, this you just spray it on, rub it in after their bath. And every week thereafter, depending on what their activity is, if they're outside a lot, I uh, would rub it on before I take her outside um, unless like if I'm going to a park or something where there's a lot of other dogs a dog park I would definitely put some on her if I just take her for a walk outside no I don't I um, put it on her maybe once every couple weeks and she does fabulous but she's an inside dog she does not hang out outside much at all um, unless it's in our backyard with me out there so and then I walk her in the neighborhood so 
It's amazing, the Terra Shield. It has the natural <clears throat> formula of like a citronella candle. It, um, it helps in keeping bugs deterred from where you are. I don't know if it's the smell, what's in it, how it works, but they do tend to run the other way. Cedar wood. Cedar wood. How many of us have hope chests made out of cedar wood? Why is that? Because it helps to protect everything we have inside from moths. So cedar wood is a good one. This Terra Shield is a blend of yang yang, cedar wood, catnip, lemon, eucalyptus, litsi, our our, oh, I always have trouble with this one. Arborvitae, netka, vanilla bean, and coconut oil. Ours is a defractionated coconut oil with the fat taken out, not the cooking oil. So there's no odor. I'm sorry, I'm coming to you from a hotel. I'm at Disneyland doing a grad night, so I'm coming to you from a Best Western hotel. That is why the weird background and the noises so sorry about that so the cedar wood and 11 other blends are with fractionated coconut oil which is our go-to oil to dilute any of the other hot oils if you have sensitive skin such as um, oregano and peppermint come to mind because those are two really hot oils so if you are dealing with a sensitive issue you want to always test this in an area that is not so sensitive so test it on your pets your kids and just make sure they don't have any kind of a reaction to it first and then go ahead and spray a larger area and a small application of this should last up to six hours it's incredible I know and it's all natural and it smells Fabulous. The natural plants protect against insects, insects and predators, safe to use on the whole family and even your pets, and like I said, lasts up to six hours. So let's see, I already gave you what all the products are. Let's see, I have a bunch of info here on different critters because there's such a plethora of oils that can help detour different um, insects, bugs, and even head lice. So everybody is different. Some will work and some won't. You have to find which oil works for you. Um, like I said, nobody has tested. Wow, sorry. Um, the like, what did I say? I did my little spiel about. The statements have not been evaluated or tested by the Food and Drug Administration. So please take this into consideration. It is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease at all. It is just here to help deter um, insects and what's bugging you. So with that in mind, ants. If any of you have problems with ants, what oils work good for ants? Peppermint. Peppermint is one for ants. Um, Terra Shield and also Rosemary. So if you have ant issues, any of those three, start with one. If that doesn't work, go with the next one. The first and foremost, I believe, would be the ant, um, the peppermint. I would try that one first. And then Terra Shield and then Rosemary. Aphids is also peppermint, sandalwood, and white fur. Beetles, peppermint, there's a theme here, isn't there? Peppermint, thyme, terra shield, caterpillars. Oh, who wouldn't, who, who doesn't like caterpillars? Caterpillars. I'll give you three guesses. Peppermint. <laughs> oh, chiggers. Chiggers. Geranium, lemongrass, thyme, and lavender. Hmm. 
cutworm, time. All three of my pages I have here from different venues, different um, books that I have, and also the doTERRA site, they all say time for cutworm. So that's a clue. Fleas. Fleas. Terra Shield. That's the one I go by. Terra Shield. We have another blend called Purity. That's a very good one. There's also lemongrass, peppermint, lavender, clove, geranium, and rosemary. So you have many to choose from. Normally when they list the oils, you start with the first listing and then work your way down because the first one is usually the one that works the best with most people. So then we go to flies. Oh, sorry, I read flies instead of fleas. Oops, sorry. So fleas was lavender, lemongrass, peppermint. Terra Shield Purify Lavender Lemongrass. Flies. Terra Shield Lavender Peppermint. Rosemary. Clove Geranium. Basil. Eucalyptus. Lavender. The ones that come up the most are peppermint and rosemary. Mesquite. Nope, let's do gnats first. Gnats. Terra Shield and patchouli, mosquitoes, terra shield, lavender, lemongrass, geranium, moths, terra shield, peppermint, geranium, lavender, purify, have you noticed peppermint? Lice, plant lice. Now I had lice, plant lice. Peppermint. That's the only one listed. Roaches. Eucalyptus. Hmm. Roaches. Okay, we're getting off here. Plant lice with peppermint. Spiders. Spiders, Terra Shield, Purify, Peppermint. See, and I think I've heard peppermint the most with spiders. Um, spiders, then slugs. Nope, let's do ticks first. Ticks, Purify, Lavender, Lemongrass, and Thyme. No peppermint. Mm. Slugs. Cedar wood and white fur. Slugs, let's do snails, patchouli, and white fur. Spiders, here we go. Spiders, peppermint, terra shield, purify peppermint, and peppermint. Ticks, ticks. Purify, lavender, lemongrass, thyme, lavender, lemongrass, thyme, geranium, thyme, lemongrass, weevils, patchouli, and sandalwood, and cedarwood, sandalwood, cedarwood, and patchouli for weevils, black widows, oregano, I didn't, I that's a new one for me. So spiders, peppermint, black widows, oregano. Whew, that's a hot one too. That'll get them. Um, ticks, we already said. Scorpions. Scorpions, basil. Basil. Interesting. I just love this. I have all kinds of different sheets that I'm using. I don't know if you can see that. This is one that I printed up. And then I have a page from one of the doTERRA magazines that I'm using. And then another snippet that I printed out from doTERRA. So I have three different resources. Also, I have one that I typed up for headlights. 
because I know driving a school bus, this just is one that I get a lot. So head lice, oils or blends that may help, eucalyptus, geranium, lavender, lemon, melaleuca. So all you do is you put this on the infected area. If you have a mild case, you can mix the following and apply to the scalp. So like two to five drops of melaleuca, two to five drops of lemon, five to ten drops of the coconut oil or carrier oil. Mix that together. Let it stand on the scalp for about a half hour. Shampoo with a good quality shampoo and two to five drops of melaleuca added to about a teaspoon of shampoo. And then follow with melaleuca shampoos daily for a week. Now if you have a severe case, they recommend 10 drops of eucalyptus, 5 of geranium, 5 of lavender, 5 of melaleuca, and 5 to 10 drops of the carrier. Comb with the lice comb. Cover with the shower cap for the night be, after you put it on. Um, be careful to protect the eyes from any oils. Follow the next morning with a good quality shampoo and two to five drops of the melaleuca added to the shampoo and then melaleuca shampoos for a week thereafter. So I would love if any of you try this, please contact me and let me know how it goes. Because I have found that more than not, these oils are absolutely amazing. I mean, we are in Japan and China, and for such a young company, they hold their oils in great high esteem, and they don't let just anybody um, come into their country and sell the oils. So that speaks volumes. Our oils are of the highest quality and grade. So if you have any questions, please contact me. I would love to chat with you about the oils. I am Diane Nivens with Diane's Oils, D-I-A-N-E-S-O-I-L-S. -S. Um, that will take you to my doTERRA page. You can also text me anytime at 619-729-5589. Thank you so much for allowing me to uh, come and share with you about how to keep what's bugging you off and away, and um, let me know how it works. Thank you so much. Here's to your health and wealth. Take care.